uploading in a while. Today we're going to be comparing the pros and cons of the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation Vita. We'll start with the Vita. One pro I'll first start with pros. Some pros are that the long the system has a long battery life, longer than the Switch, has an internet browser, and you can watch Netflix and Twitch. And another pro is you can play a certain amount and get free games each month. Some some cons are it doesn't really have an it's like it can't it doesn't have a proper L2 and R2. And okay, another pro is it has remote place a PS4 link where you can link to your PS4 and play it from anywhere you want. As long as you have Wi Fi. And, uh, here are some cons. It do, it doesn't have as many like first party titles for that. And, yeah, and the game library is big, but doesn't have that many physical releases. If you're a collector, well, it has a lot, but just but it has. But if you're looking at the games, has mostly indies, like ports from the PSP and PS1. And another, oh, um, I forgot this. Here's another pro: you, you can run emulators and listen play every game you you want, or any game that you want. Wait, but, but another bad thing is, the only way you can run the emulator is if you have a 3.6. If it's any higher, you can't run emulators, and if it's any lower, you'll have to update to only 3.6. Now let's talk about the Switch. Let's see. So I'm posed about the Switch, right? You can hook it up to the TV, it comes packaged in the system, and this is a con about the Vita because you'd have to buy a PS t TV, and unless you find it on sale, at, unless you find it at Walmart, which they're selling it for $5, now some, now, some pros are, there are a lot of games, and a lot of first party titles, But some cons are you can't surf the internet. You can't you can't watch YouTube and Netflix. And the Vita, if you're looking at games that can just get straight when you get the system for free, the Vita has substantially more games. I'll show you other filters. Price range. Oops. Now let's just do best sellers. Price low to high. There's one, two, three, four, six, eight. So there's ten free games on the Switch. Now the Vita. Now the Vita's free game library is Vita only. Free to play. Has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. You got me to thirteen, which is more than than the switch. And I think this switch has a. I mean, the Vita has a lot more exclusives. Like, let's just pull up some Vita exclusives in M for M. It has. Madden NFL 13 PSV Just like Just like it's EA Sports FIFA Soccer And now let's and that's and that's all I have.
One last thing. One thing that this Vita has that Switch doesn't it has a bunch of apps. Like the weather station. Twitch. MBL TV. Hulu. And so it has a bunch of free apps. Except maybe yeah. And then it also allows you one thing that this has that the switch cannot do is you can do this. Which is watch free media. Or I'll be doing a tutorial coming out soon of this where you can download YouTube videos if you have a memory card you can watch them. I'll show you some that I have downloaded on my Vita. Oh none. So I don't have that much storage, so I didn't need all of them. So far.